Throughout the history of me making t-shirt designs from when I started back in like 2008 and up to now, like I've come to notice that all t-shirt templates aren't created the same. Welcome back loyalty. I've been wanting to talk to you guys about this one because it's kind of like an irk moment to me because sometimes you guys go on the internet, you find these mock-up and these templates and stuff like that and they only give you like one color or they give you like one shirt and they don't give you different colors of that shirt or whatnot and that's kind of annoying to me because like there's people who actually pay for that and they just feel like they got the best deal out of it and that's kind of bogus to me because I know when I used to see t-shirt mock-ups, it was real cool to be able to change the color on it and all that and I always wanted to learn how to do that. It was something that was in my mind. I was just like, wow, that's blowing my mind that you can change the color of this mock-up. You can get a shirt that was already like white and you can make it black or you can make it blue and green and all these different colors and stuff like that. I thought different color mock-ups were pretty cool. I thought that was pretty standard and to come out to find out that it's not really standard. People don't really do that. You have a line full of stuff like you have you know maybe a shirt that's yellow you have a shirt that's green you have a shirt that's blue or red and you're using this one mock-up you want to at least illustrate and show people that you have a whole range of different colors right because if you take that design and you put it on spread shirt or you put it on zazzle or you put it on any other pod site yeah they might limit you they might say you can only get it in black and white and stuff like that or you can tell your customers that you're only selling for black and white but what if you selling it for like blue and pink and orange and all these other different colors and stuff like that you don't want to have to go out look for another mock-up right you don't want to just put it on a white and the option for that shirt is not even white you know so this is why having a mock-up that has that option for you to change the colors is so amazing and with that being said this mock-up will be available on my patreon account it actually came out monday and if you guys don't know i put out new mock-ups on my patreon account every monday you get a new mock-up or whatnot and that mock-up is pretty much good for use anywhere you know i wasn't always doing that like i fell off because i was doing work and stuff like that but then actually when i came back to st louis i just wanted to make sure that you guys got a mock-up every monday so if you can go ahead and hashtag loyalty hashtag mock-up monday in the comment section so i know that you guys actually got that and you guys are using it you know if you're using my mock-ups go ahead and put the picture up on instagram tag me in it that's going to give you guys free stuff now i'm giving away this for free to the first three people that comment on my instagram Instagram page on this you know you actually get free stuff from me so you guys got to follow me on Instagram is I am loyal you know all one word and you can find me follow me hit me up we'll talk and all that stuff I'm not the type of person not to talk to you but having that nice color change mock-up is gonna help you out a great deal and there's a real reason for that so we're gonna go ahead and get into Photoshop and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this okay so the goal here is to make this shirt interchangeable with other colors or whatnot so if I want to place a graphic on here and I want to change the color of the shirt it's really simple to do right because you know we're not just going to have a gray shirt all the time like we want to put our t-shirt designs on different colors and stuff like that so it's really simple to do all you have to do is go over here to the layers panel and go straight down here to where it's you know you see this like circle with like a half moon or whatnot you click on that all right and then you bring up photo filters now depending if you guys actually use this or not preserve luminosity will be on mine's is off but if it is on you just want to go ahead and check this off then you hit color all right now the density is pretty much kind of like an opacity scale so if i bring this all the way up it looks like this but if you bring it down some it looks like that it just depends where you want to put it we're actually going to put this all the way up real quick now the reason why i put it all the way up is because then i can put this on black and scale it backwards so i'm gonna put it on black and then I'm just going to scale it backwards to where an actual black shirt would actually look right. So I'm thinking maybe 95 would do good. I think 95 would actually look good. So this is how you change the color. Now we want to go in on this mask real quick and zoom in and make sure that we pretty much take out where it's affecting like the whites and stuff like that. So of course, like this tag shouldn't be affected at all. And then the sides of this shirt shouldn't be affected at all as well. So we're gonna take the pen tool and just go through that. And with that being done, you guys should be able to now change the color to whatever color you want. Now, I will say this. Make sure you pick the right colors. So if you're doing a POD site like Spreadshirt, I would recommend screenshotting the actual shirt, bringing that into Photoshop, using the eyedropper tools just to make sure that you got the right colors 
and then put that number, that color code or that hex code into the actual photo filter and that should give you the right color for that shirt, which is gonna be good for you guys. So you have an accurate shirt color, even though that shirt might not even be available on PLD. So if you guys like this one, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you pick this one up, let me know in the comment section below. Like I said, hashtag loyalty, hashtag mock up Mondays. Bail me so I know it's real. But with that being said, you guys, I have to get up out of here. So stay amazing, stay creative. Above all else, stay awesome. <laughs>